Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How was your weekend? I hope it was good. Oh, I got a nice jacket. Today was my first day at my new job. It was exciting. It was fun. It was educational. We'll say that. Um, and I got a new jacket. This is actually really nice. Well, it's even got a rain hood. Ha! Oh, and I got a, I got a polo shirt. Yeah. I'm not a fan of polo shirts, but whatever, it's 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 required. So today was my first day, and I know you all were just broiling to hear about it. You spent all weekend wondering. Um, okay, in all seriousness, no you didn't, but uh, I did. I spent quite a bit of time wondering this weekend, and I felt bad. Like, all weekend um, did not feel good, like, stomach stuff. I don't think it was nerves, though, because I, Lexapro doesn't allow me to have nerves. Uh, and I didn't feel nervous at all, so I think it was just a stomach thing, but it definitely played into the fact that I was constantly thinking about, okay, what am I going to do on Monday? When do I start? Um, and I tell you what, it's late. It is uh, 19, 20, no, 7, 7, 20. It's late already. I got home at like 6.30 because I had to stop at Walmart. The hardest part of this job, um, the job itself, awesome. Not, I'm, I'm not going to say it's easy. It's not, you know, software development's never easy. The hardest part is going to be getting used to going in late and coming home late. Like I've worked in K-12, uh, for the last eight years and you know, you probably have kids that you've taken to school at seven o'clock in the morning. My job started at 7 a.m. I've, I've, for the last eight years, I've worked seven to three. And now this job is like eight thirty to five ish, nine to five thirty. Nine. when it's late, like getting home late is going to be very, very strange for me. Um, one of the things, one of the, I thought was a perk of my last job was being able to go in really early and get out early. Cause that gave me that two hour window. Businesses are still open. I can actually get stuff done. Like for instance, I, I have to get a pay. Like I don't, I don't own checks. I have no checks, um, for my bank accounts. So I have to get this form letter that says, yes, I have a bank account here with the routing numbers and stuff on it, but I don't get off till five. So how am I supposed to get to a bank and get that? You know, whereas my previous job, it was just you, I would get off work and I would go to the bank. So just things like that. Um, it's going to be really weird to adjust to working later, going in later. Um, it'll be nice to be able to get up and get moving uh, a little early, you know, a little before I have to leave, which is nice, um, make breakfast and that sort of stuff. But it's going to be difficult to adjust to for me going in that, that late and getting home that late. But we'll figure it out. Um, today was essentially all the stuff that you do on your first day of work. Sign all the paperwork, learn all the rules, get the employee handbook, find out where the office supplies are and the, and the Keurig. <laughs> you know, the most important thing is the coffee bar, which we have a coffee. Here, I'll put a picture up for you. Took a picture. Um, that is in my group's office. Um, so I am the media services group. Uh, we do software development um, for web apps as well as uh, manage a bunch of WordPress sites and do web development stuff. So that's uh, my group's coffee station just for us, uh, which is cool. And um, got a desk and a computer and monitors. I don't have, there's like no furniture in my little area. Um, so I, I'm not, I don't have a whole lot of room to take stuff in, but I'm going to take some, some of the stuff that I put on my desk just to, just to remind me that I'm, I'm uh, still a human being as I write code. It was a good day. Uh, spent a good probably two, two and a half hours with my new boss and uh, talked about all the various aspects of what he expects from me and that sort of thing, which was wonderful. Like super excited about having um, a cl clear direction. Um, I think he gives uh, he gives clear um, goals without being a micromanager, which sounds like like just primo for me. Like, I want you to do this now do it. And I go, okay. And I go do it. Um, which is exactly how I prefer to work. Um, I like knowing what is expected of me up front. work really good in that, in that environment. Um, he wrote out his list of, of rules, you know, like unofficial, this is the, this is this group's rules and, uh, got all the slack set up and got my development environment set up and all that stuff, um, squared away today. Tomorrow, we'll actually dive into what I'll be working on. Um, now, of course, a lot of that stuff is I just simply am not at liberty to talk about it. It 
it's really not interesting anyway. If you've done software development, it's pretty much just I write code. Um, but it, it's all education stuff, and you know, it is what it is. It's, it's it's a job. It's a job that I'm going to really enjoy. I know that already, like I'm in advance. But um, it was a good day, and uh, you know, this weekend was kind of wasted. Keely stayed here all weekend, and we just kind of hung out and played video games and didn't really do a whole lot. Neither of us were feeling good. Uh, Sunday after she left, I did come down here and make some sawdust. Remember this? Remember the postcards? I The original plan was there's this big blank wall over here, and I was going to paint some sort of mural thing and put these up in their like respective area. Like this came from Portugal, so I was going to put this up where Portugal would be. But then I realized, like, first of all, the vast majority of my audience is America, so I would have like this map that would be all the postcards would be in one spot. And second of all, it just seems like a complete waste of space. So I did something fancy instead. Well, it's not fancy. It's actually the opposite of fancy. But I took I took the postcards. I took the binder clips. I took some wood and some chicken wire. And I made myself a little hanger. Um, For the postcards. So the problem is, I didn't realize how many postcards we had. We have a lot of postcards. I have, I still have quite a few left over. So I didn't make it big enough. I made it big enough to fit that space, uh, but I have more postcards than what fits there. So I need to make another one to put over there. Um, and you know, if you send me more postcards, which please do, I really enjoy postcards and I send postcards back. So if you send me a postcard, you're going to get one in return, uh, is assuming that you put a return address. If you don't want to put the, your return address on the card, you can always email me your return address and I'll email you or I'll mail you a card. Um, but if you do want to send me a card, the link is in the description to send me a postcard. I really love getting these. And uh, now that I have, I have, a, I have a cool place to look and see them all. So, um, you know, I haven't been home very long. I need to finish eating and cleaning up around here and getting wound down from the day. I still have some other tasks that I have to accomplish for other people, but uh, it's all good. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being interested in me. So I haven't figured out why you are. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Taser and Fat comes from MIC.com. How much does it cost per episode of Game of Thrones? The average Game of Thrones episode costs six million dollars to make. That's two to three times what a typical network or cable show costs per episode. Breaking Bad cost around three mil three million, and early Big Bang Theory was two million. Six million dollars per episode. <laughs>